high achievers. Welcome to the original Animal Crossing. Um, I originally wanted to visit my old town from when I was a kid, but I cannot find the memory card anywhere. So we're just gonna start a new town. Why does nostalgia hurt so bad? Hi, KK. So, you've decided to move out, get your own place, see the world? That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living on your own, being free, it feels great. But living for yourself can be a real drag, too. Still, if you got some tight friends somewhere nearby, then you know it'll all work out. Yeah, man. Friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling. My bad. So are you ready to hop on that train and go for a little ride? Yep. Oh, I almost forgot. You'll enjoy your time in the world of Animal Crossing more if you get some friends to come here, too. That would be really cool if a lot of your friends came to visit your town. Later. Oh, later as in, like, goodbye. So this game came out... What was it, 2002? I was, like, six years old. Almost 20 years ago. Yeah, that's right. Um, almost. It's only 10.19, so the time's kind of off, but we can probably fix that. What? It's not? Well, do you think you can straighten this out for me? Say it's 3.20 p.m. I missed a huge opportunity there to do 4.20. I'm sorry, I failed all of you. You sure? Perfect. Say thanks, you're too kind. Really, you're a big help. So, you mind if I sit here? I promise I won't fall asleep, tumble onto you, and start drooling on your shirt. Please do. Once again, it sure is nice meeting friendly folk on the train. You aren't a psycho, right? Just kidding. Say, by the way, what's your name? All of this, just holy shit. I can't do caps, so that's okay. I'll just do my name. Well, that is an odd name. Not that my opinion means much. What matters is, do you like your name, Marta? Cute. You're right, of course. What I was I thinking? I think it's a very cute name for a very cute girl. I, uh, I'm sorry I said it sounded funny, honestly. I forgive you. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, where are you headed? Oh, I can't do caps. That's so sad. Yeah. So... My town growing up was Ann Town. Which is what my island in Animal Crossing in New Horizons is named after. An Isle. Going to Antown. It's gonna bother me that I can't capitalize on anything, but that's fine. So, what are you gonna do? What are you going to Antown for? I'm moving. Hmm, moving, huh? I hate moving. Pack boxes, unpack boxes. It never ends. Say, where's your new place? I don't know yet. What? You don't know yet? Are you out of your tree? Well, obviously you need to find a place to live. Oh wait, boy, am I dense. This buddy of mine runs the shop in Antown. Let me give, it, give him a jingle. This will take me two seconds. Wait right here, okay? Oh, he's so cute. This is before they had beans on their feet. Beep, beep, boop, beep. Hey there, Nook. It's me. So what's the good word? You raking in the cash? Yeah. Ooh, that's rough. Brutal. 
Well, it's a crazy world. Anyway, as I was saying, I have someone here who wants to move to Anto. Oh yeah, completely, but the poor thing still hasn't found a place to live. It's sort of a tight spot. The kid's name? Why? Oh, it's Marta. Um, yeah. Yeah, today. So you think you can help out? Oh? Oh, really? Uh-huh, I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll pass the word on. So we'll catch up later. Right, thanks a lot. See ya, Nook, my man. Bye. Oh my god. This all hurts my heart. I haven't touched this game in years. Like, at least 10 years. At absolute minimum 10 years. Which is why I wanted to visit my old town, but I... I dug everywhere for my memory card and I don't know where it is. Okay, I'm back, Miss Me. Well, good news for you. It sounds like my buddy has some brand new houses for sale. Dirt cheap. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them. He wants to unload them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? Oh, yeah. Then you'll be just fine. Wow, a brand new house. Nothing like it in the world. Maybe I'll move in, too. Oh, looks like we're about to pull into Ant Town. Man, I love this place. I wonder how similar it's going to be to my original town. I could uh, point out... I could probably point out the different areas where everything was. get emotional. <laughs> I completely did not expect to get emotional. I got the character that my sister looked like. I had pink hair and my little eyelashes both went the same direction. Um, but this is exactly what my sister's character looked like. Let's see, Nook! But ah, your name happened to be Marta? Good, good. I just now had a phone call about you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm glad I made it here in time to meet your train. I'm afraid I'm not in the best shape of my life, but I ramble. My name is Tom Nook. I uh, run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you, yes? Something strikes me as odd, though, my young friend. Moving to a town before settling on a place to live? It's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. Madness. Absolute madness. Laugh. Oh, pardon me, I beg you. I just struck that. That just struck my funny bone. Now don't you worry. It may be small, but I have a house you can move into right away. I'll show it to you now, so come along. Let's scuttle. So then, it's not smooth. They're like acres. Here we are, not too shabby. I can most heartedly recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside. Don't. I don't mind not in the least. So, here's the little houses you start out with. Oh, this button must be stuck. Hold on. Yeah, my all click button is completely stuck. That's okay. Um, so my sister took the top left house. I took the bottom left house. Um, this one I think was one of my cousins, probably cousin Kevin, and this one co was cousin Sam's. I don't recall whose is whose, but I'm gonna pick my old house. Take a good look inside, and please bear in mind that it's a little cozy. Cozy is definitely not the word I would use for this, but that's okay. We'll take it. Oh, what do you think? How was it? I like it. You're quite sure this is the one you want? Here's good. Very well, it's decided then. That house now belongs to you, Marta. What a happy day for you, I'm certain. I'll tell you what, I'll even throw in the radio in there. No extra charge. Oh, see, I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house. Look at some perfect new place. This house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. It's quite fair, I'm afraid. Anything you need, you'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. You can do whatever you like with your own stuff, but don't try to mess around with other folks' things. Well, not that you can. Nobody will know if you just nudge stuff, though. You'll probably want to pop into neighbors' houses to get some ideas for your own interior designs. I would. Oh, yes, that weird thing over the, by the door there. That would be your personal guy assistant. 
So that's not something that's in New Horizons. Um, in fact, I think the last... They were in New Leaf. Definitely in Wild Ro World and City Folk. They were definitely in that one. The Skyward will meet and greet them. This is truly a must-have. You can teach it messages and the little fellow will repeat them to visitors. That's just one of his talents. You can also leave items with it, which it can give or even sell to others. Oh, and one more thing. When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid. For that's the only way for you to save everything you did that day. It would be a shame to lose such things. But playing without talking to it first, it'll be like everything you did that day never even happened. I can't imagine a worse fate. Please take extra care so you never forget. I hate to see such a thing happen. That marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything. Did you get all that? Do you perhaps wish to hear it again? No thanks. Yes, well I'm trying to settle, settle into the particulars of life in due time. He is just as long-winded. In fact, even more so in the first game than he is in New Horizons. Oh my god. With fees and closing costs, the house comes to 19,800 bells. I have a thousand bells. Happy birthday, Tom Nook! A thousand bells. Yes, that would be not nearly enough. You only have a thousand bells? You're joking with me, yes? You're so short I can't even help but laugh. The little laughing sound effects are cute. You know what happens to people who don't have money, don't you? I can tell you, they can't buy a house. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? Hmm, the thorny situation. Here's what we'll do. You can work part-time at my shop to pay off the rest. Yes, that's acceptable. Splendid. We're all set. This will work wonderfully. Now then, you have to come by my shop later to work. You can find my shop in Acre A2. Oof, that's like where the dump used to be. At least most people, most people can't miss it. If you have trouble, check the map by the station. And then the little gyroid does a little, little dance. Oh, my town! Fruit is cherry, or er, yeah, cherries. Animal Crossing, I think its town fruit was either apples or pears. I want to say it was apples. Okay, so. Yep, the wishing well was one space over. The river that was there kind of went more towards the middle of the map. The museum was right where it was. The tailor is... Taylor was, where was it? I don't remember now. So I have Caesar, Axel, and Portia, Nate, and Rosie as my people, along with Betty. Okay. So Nook's shop used to be where the dump is now. So the dump is up here in this corner. The dump used to be in this corner. And the post office used to be here. The map is so much smaller than I remember it being. All right, well, let's go Let's go work for Tom Nook. We'll get all of his things done, and then we'll call that episode a day. Well, you finally arrived. What took you so long? I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Only kidding. Very good, yes. First off, you'll need to change into these clothes. If you must know, I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing, yes? I really wish my L button would work. <laughs> That's better. Yes, you look like you were born to wear that uniform. Now you can start working up the remaining 18,800 bells you owe you're on your house. First off, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. The area around here is dull. I'm not trying to get It's just not an ideal sort of shopping experience. People like shopping in areas that are clean and well kept, so I want you to spruce things up a bit for me. So when you're finished, come and tell me. Okay. Let's go plant a bunch of flowers and trees. Um, the music. Oh my god, this is just a giant nostalgia trip for me. Thank you for joining me on this, by the way. sapling here. Let's plant some stuff over here. Um, so in this game, you basically can't do much. You just, like, hang out in town, talk to your villagers. Um, plant some stuff over here. 
Like really, that's about it. There's there's really not much to do in comparison to, you know, a game like New Horizons. Um, but one of the things that they did in City Folk that was not in this game and that is not in New Horizons is the animal paths, like the animal tracks thing. So as you run down on the grass, um, it wears down the grass and the grass will grow back. In New Leaf, I believe it would, but it still did the same thing where it would just wear down the grass. So didn't you make it look a little bit nicer out there? Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, so I won't bother asking how he chose where to plant everything. After all, I'm not the one who will get laughed at when the when travelers from other villages see your work. Let's just see here. That chore was worth 80 bells. This is like real life. It's too funny. Let's keep him as payment towards your mortgage. Now what should I have you do next? Wait, just a moment. Something just struck me. Marta, you just moved to Ann Town. But you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk, have you? I'm gonna give you a break, so why don't you go introduce yourself onto town? Everyone in town. Don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor! Okay. So if you've ever played New Leaf, the, um, the old tortoise, Tortimer, um, oh, there's a bridge right here. Oh, no, it's a dock. Okay. Um, Tortimer's the mayor of this town. So you really moved up in the world as this game happened. Um, okay, so we have people over here. Might as well show you the, like, the post office and stuff, too. So here's the post office. Oh, the melody for the town! so happy. So here's the post office. Um, you could send up to five letters and then they'd get delivered automatically. This is Pelly. She's the one that you would end up talking to to pay off your loan um, later on. And if you played at night, Pelly would have the night off and you'd get the night worker Phyllis. Phyllis was a giant C word. Um, <laughs> here's a dump. This is where, like, if you come in every day, there's, you know, a couple items just strewn about just randomly there to help you build up, like, whatever collection you want to make. <gasps> Rosie! You look so cute! And this old pixelated form. Oh, there, don't be nervous. I won't bite, silly. My name's Rosie. It's a cute name, isn't it? Well, what's your name? Marta. Huh. What a goofy name. Oh, no, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's just forget about it and be friends, mm. silly. You can visit their houses if they were nearby, which is a little bit different than... As long as they're in the same acre, you could still visit their house. Here's a gyroid. Oh my god. This game's amazing. Can't do anything with the rocks. The rocks are stuck where they are and they don't produce anything. Like, you can't hit them for money. Can you? So. Okay, um, there's a glowy spot. So this is where the money tree originally started. You peel, you dig this up and then it was a thousand bells. And then if you dug a hundred bells into it, you'd produce a money tree that would continuously produce money. Here's Axel. Hey, good afternoon. Haven't seen you around before. here before, have I? Wonk. I'm Axel. What about you? What's your name? Right, gotcha. Marta, huh? Okay, Marta. Let's be pals. If the others give you any trouble, come talk to me, Bonk. Let's check out his house. I dig it. That's right, the instruments play the town tune. They don't play like random notes. Okay, let's see how we can get down to the next level. Oh, right here. Perfect. Uh, 
Caesar! Hey, hey, do I know you? I don't think so, Highness. What are you doing skulking around like that? Oh, you say your name's Marta, is it? Hey, calm down, you don't need to be so scared. I'm sorry if I was mean, I'm Caesar. Nice to meet you, Highness. Let's check out his house real quick before he leaves the acre. Everyone uses guy words in their house. Interesting. Alright, that's dope. Okay, we need to find... I don't know where anyone else's house is. Oh, look, there's the little stars. Ah, copper! Well, aren't we busy, little bee buzzing to and fro? Commendable behavior. Tell me, how can Officer Copper be of assistance? What's this? This is a police station. This is where we keep recovered goods, more commonly known as lost things. But it's most certainly not a glorified lost and found, as referring to it as much as such may be illegal. Unfortunately, as our police station is so small, we can only handle 20 recovered goods at any one time. When new items are recovered, we sadly have to begin getting rid of the old ones in order to make room. So basically what happens, if you leave stuff laying around town and you save and quit the game, it'll end up here at the police station. Did I make him sad by skipping his dialogue? Here's Booker. <laughs> Take anything, I think. Um... So let's see what they have. So they sometimes have random stuff like this. Oh, that's a caladium. Sure, that's mine. What's this? That's a chevron shirt. Yes, yeah, so that's mine. Don't tell him. It's not actually mine. A chi chi print. This game. I always liked running around. I found this entertaining. Like I tried to run away from them. Because <laughs> they were always slower than me. Thank you for stopping by. Do you guys have a nap? <gasps> Thank goodness. Okay. So I did Caesar. I did Axel. I did not do Portia. And I did not do Nate. So let's do those two real quick. And then we'll come back down here and look at the museum and the Able Sisters. So this game was before LaBelle was in introduced, or Label. Um, okay, so that's Rosie's house. So one over should be Axel's house. Oh, are you Nate? You are Nate. Hello, you're not from around here, are you? Yawn. Mm, it's nice to meet you, Marta, by the by. By the way, my name is Nate. If you ever see me wandering around here, don't be bashful. Just come on up and say hi, okay? Let's look at your house, Nate. He's got little fishies, too. Oh my god, look at the graphics on the fish. That's so old. It's cute. Oh my god. Okay, now we gotta find Portia. Should just be directly down. I see. I understand. I see. Maybe. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. I always get so lost um, at the very beginning of these games because it's like just so disorienting. The new map it takes a hot minute to learn. Just needed to go up one. Portia's a puppy! Oh, are you selling something? Because if you are, I don't want any, Ruffian. Oh, you're not? Well, I wish you'd say something, Ruffian. If I'd known you were looking for friends, I'd have been nicer, Ruffian. I'm Portia. And you're Marta. That seems easy to remember. See you, Ruffian. Alright, Portia, I gotta look at your house. I've actually never seen that villager before. Cafe KK in it. Oh no! Turn it back on. I love her house. It's so cute. I like the chest plate piece in the corner. I'm 
remember having the lovely set in my game. I'm gonna have to go digging for that um, memory card just to visit my old town because nostalgia. But I remember collecting the... Well, it's kind of fun. It spawned over a pond. Um, my sister's house is always super fancy. My house is always very pink. Mm -hmm. brothers. Zop! What time is it? I'm so very sleepy. Oh dear me, a thousand pardons. So terribly sorry. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a night owl. Yes. By the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? No, nope, nothing. We have nothing on display at this time. Dreadful, really. What we have here when you cut to the quick is a rather large, expensive, and thoroughly empty box. However, we are open round the clock and gladly accept donations from the residents of Antown at all times. We do appreciate your support. He's so cute. Well, let's look at all the stuff. It's so simple. I love it. Little bubbles. That's it. That's the aquarium. We're very spoiled with New Horizons, for sure. Here's the dinosaurs. So this is where all the dinosaur pieces would be on display. That's it, really? Wow. I can tell you that this one right here in the center would be home to the um, pterosaur. simpler times. I believe you still bought them from red. Um, you'd get crazy red. Here's the bugs. That's it. So small. Um, in, what was it? New Leaf. I think it's New Leaf. You can get constellations. You can unlock, um, his little sister Celeste and get constellations. Alright, let's go visit. We've got one more villager to visit. Oh, the Sable Sisters. Let's do them real quick. Um, one of the things you can do here, too, in this game, um, you can talk to the Wishing Well, and the Wishing Well will tell you things that you can do to improve your, your town. It's like if you chop down too many trees, the villagers end up being sad. so similar. Just smaller. So there's Mabel. Here's Sable. I'm too busy right now. I'm sorry. And same thing, if you, you know, talk to her every day, she eventually opens up to you and you can be friends with her. Oh my god, they're so cute. Thanks again, you come back now. Reminiscing town time. That's what this is. I'm always worried one of those is gonna be a pitfall trap. I'm gonna just find the exact right one. Do we not have a bridge? We don't have a bridge down here. Um. Well, it's gonna take me a minute to get around. A bridge. I hate it and love it at the same time. Like. The other bridge would have been so much better used down below the waterfall, but also this island's cute. place for a bridge. I think you can place one bridge. Oh, there's a bridge! Falls. I forgot that those existed. You can get all sorts of sports balls. That's okay. Um, lighthouse! Where did he go? He's down here. Um, so there will be times where 
Mortimer will go on vacation and he'll be like, hey, on this night, I need you to turn on the, the lighthouse. And you just have a special job to do. It makes you feel like a, a big kid. Hey! What's up, Betty? Good afternoon. I don't think we've met before. You're new in town, aren't you, Cluckling? I'm happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Betty. I hope we can make be really good friends. I used to have her in my uh, old town. I remember because of the TV and like the kitchen. This is a pretty dope program. The apples rolling across the screen. All right, let's check out. Here we go, the wishing well. What errand have you at the wishing well in town? How are things? In areas where there's very little green, a feeling of despair overshadows all else. Go to acre A1 to mm. see what's amiss. So it would tell you that and then you go plant trees and flowers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Eh? What? Who are you? You whippersnapper? Tell me something. Who do you respect the most? Uh, I'm gonna kiss up right now. You have my wise and almost inspired respect. You may be young, but you have a keen eye. Tell me what... What's your name? Marta, well, it's nice. It's different. Your parents must be proud. My name is Tortimer. I happen to be the mayor here in Antown. Yipper, quite the big job. You seem like a decent sort. Whenever there's a holiday or an event going on in town, why don't you come see me? I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yipper, I surely will. Alright, let's go back to Tom Nook. Honestly, I think I'm, I feel okay leaving the episode where it is. If anyone has any interest in watching me play more of this, I'd be happy to. Um, I might play it in my own time just, you know, for the nostalgia factor, but yeah, I should probably go to my house. Save at my house. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this nostalgia trip, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.